Hello and welcome back to Walton Hersham. We're here today on the south coast near Portsmouth, Gosport, for a massive tie between second and third place in the league at the moment. Jack, how do you think this game's going to go? Oh, I'm looking forward to it, Brad. You know, we've been on good form to start of the season. Three out of three. Gosport themselves, though, four out of four. So it's going to be a tough game. But, you know, we're scoring a lot of goals and I fancy ourselves today. It's true. And I think Gosport, they've only conceded one goal in their last four games. With Walton, we've scored 14 in the yeah. last three. Yeah, look, I mean... <laughs> We're prone to conceding a lot, you know, we've got to keep it tight today. Yeah. They're going to be a lot more clinical than some of the sides that we have played, so we've got to be, we've got to be sharp. It's true. And you may have noticed as well, it's a new away kit today. We won't be wearing it, we'll actually be wearing our new home kit. But stay tuned because we've got some great new kits coming out Beautiful. soon for you. Absolutely. And we'll go straight into the team lineups. And the Swans have named an unchanged lineup today from their win versus Dorchester. In goal, Liam Allen, protected by a back four of... Harry Mills, Joe Hicks, Mitchell Goff, and Sam Tutt. Ahead of them is a midfield of Arsene Alkai, Stefan Illich, and John Gilbert. And Eddie Simon and Stan Flaherty flank Trey Cook up top. On the bench, Ollie Allen, Anis Noor, Jordan Adiemi, and Jake Frailing. And Goff, lovely pick out. And Trey Cook showing his early pace there. Illich keeps it in. Finds Stan on his left foot. Good effort. Good John Gilbert on the rebound. And John, lovely bit of skill. Oh, oh. he just slipped as he's gone for it with his, his left. Yeah, really unlucky. Good couple of swans. chances, though. And it's floated over the top. The wind takes it on his way. Good save, and Liam, Liam gets, down, gets down quickly. First call of the game goes to Gosport's way. But yeah, the header from Eddie wasn't really close enough to John Gilbert. Oh, and it's brilliant. Trey Cook, he's onside. Go on, Trey. He goes for it. Oh! Inches, Brad. So, so close from Trey Cook. Gosport come through, the number two. Oh, the wind. Oh, and that was a massive opportunity for Gosport. Yeah, just hung up there. Yeah. Joe Hicks couldn't quite work out where the wind was taking it. Yes, yeah, come on, there, here we go. He's read it. Trey's been shoved off, but he and Trey, he's got his pace. He's got loads of time. Oh, Trey. The touch. Oh, penalty. oh ref. It's a penalty. penalty. Well, the Swans are being saved there because yeah. Trey, he sort of fluffed his lines. But they've been given a second chance. He eyes up the keeper. Looks at the ball. And he slots it in. And then looks at the crowd <laughs> in defiance. Get in there, Millsy. Harry Mills makes it 1-0 to the Swans here. Away at Gosport. It's too easy for him. <laughs> We've got to give it to someone else. Give the keep these keepers a chance. Yep. Yep, there's Mitchell Goff. Wins a header. It's all right though, here we go, yeah, we've got, got men over. really well, Trey can use Stan if he wants to. Stan's still That's going! Stan on his left foot! Oh. Oh. That's twice he's gone for power rather than placement, mm. Stan. It's a bit of a back five at the moment with Stefan Illich in there. It's towards Harry Mills. Ah, Gilbert. Oh, Gilbert. Oh, that's so no. soft. Never. Really isn't much in that at all. Take it quickly though, Gosport. Which they've done a few times. Oh, and they're in. It's a brilliant save, Liam Allen. Unbelievable. It's David De Gea-esque with his feet there. Fantastic. It looks like the ref had missed it. Oh he no, he's given the advantage. Good lad, good lad. But we'll have the yellow card back in a sec. Millsy steps past his man. It's brilliant Another pull. Looks for Trey. Trey gets. The trick can get there. Oh, and it looked like it might have nestled in off the keeper, but yeah. no. Onto the, uh, what do you call that, post behind the goal. <laughs> <laughs> and the in-swinger goes really deep. Oh, oh my oh, God. God. The bar from point blank range. But from Gosport hitting the crossbar, the Swans now find themselves in the attacking third. I, haven't, I don't know how he's got that much height on the shot from about two yards out. Yeah. 
But blimey. Okay, come on, Stan. On Second your right. goal in this game is crucial. On your right, on your right. Stan is looking for it. It goes right. Oh! What a strike. Curled into that bottom corner. Off the post. It could not be more precise than that. And Stan Flaherty, the number seven for Walton. Unreal. Oh, chance. Oh, oh. this is a deflection. That's the thing, even though we're two goals up, yeah. the game is not over. Well, you know what they say about 2-0? It's the most dangerous scoreline in football. <laughs> There's another in-swinger. Liam gets down. It's still bouncing around. They're screaming oh. for handball. I don't know who. And the ball will come in. Mitchell go off. Lost out. Oh, it's another opportunity. It's goes a goal begging. kick. Goes begging again. Yeah, sliced it. And Jordan hasn't really had it. I don't think he's had a single touch of the ball. No, I don't think he's come has. On. It's been a lot of defending since. Yeah, but I think it reflects the state of the game so far where at the moment Gosport putting all the pressure on Walton. And every time Walton get the ball back, they just hoof it up. Not many options. But Gosport. Oh, oh again, God. John. Gilbert gets in Brilliant there. Brilliant from John. Brilliant. Eddie, Eddie what are you trying? out in a dangerous area. And it's 2 1. And it's truly game on now. That's a really tidy finish into the bottom left. Yeah, nothing Liam could do about it. Eddie Simon caught on the ball in the box yeah, there. Dispossessed. Would have been better off just getting rid. Yeah, that's All the way. Come on, we can win that. Yes, Ollie Allen's there. Brilliant. He win. does win it. It's John Gilbert. John Gilbert. Go on, John. Ollie Allen. Oh. Again, a brilliant opportunity from the press. Oh, my God. Joe Hicks. He's doing it. I can't I, believe it. I have, to be, I have to be honest, I completely missed that. What happened, Jack? Well, Joe Hicks has got the ball from the goal kick and tried to set it back to Liam Allen. And it's just crept over the line. There's well, no one there. going to stay in. That's full time. Swans, 2 0 up, pegged back twice. And at the end of the game, it ends on as even between second and third place. I think you've got to say, on the face of it, it's probably a fair result. Yeah. You know, Gospel had their fair, ch fair share of chances, even in the first half. And we're here after an entertaining 2-2 draw away in Gosport. Scott, what do you take from that game? Uh, it's funny because we, we have so many games which are tales of two halves. Um, what you tend to be taking away when it's fresh like this is sort of what have you done for me lately? And asking that question of, of, uh, of the boys in the second half there, and especially towards the end of the game, not great, not great. Um, obviously, credit to Gosport, you know, really easy, could have been really easy for them to fold 2 0 down. But, you know, backed by a, a vociferous home crowd, they, they kept at it. And unfortunately, uh, when we look back on it, I think we'll, we'll see that we gave them every encouragement to do so um, by a few things that were unforced errors, shall we say, <laughs> say, the, say the slightest. Um, but yeah, I mean, overall, Summary, maybe we'd probably say it was a fair result given the amount of chances we, we had in the first half and early on in the second. Um, but yeah, it, it's obviously a bit of, a bit of taste at the moment given the fact that we've, uh, we've let a 2-0 lead slip and to be honest, it's our own doing. Yeah, I mean, obviously you have to remember this is a Gosport side that have only conceded one goal in four games so far this season, playing them at home in what was a bumper crowd today of over 800, I was told, by their chairman. Yeah. You know, it's a very intimidating place to come and to, to end up even getting a point and maybe in our eyes throwing away a lead is still something that, you know, most teams probably won't be able to do this season. Yeah, I mean... You know, put, putting it bluntly, it's more points than anyone else has got against Gosport so far. But, you know, on, on the flip side, it's the first points we've dropped. So 
it's you know you want to stretch that run as un unrealistic as it, as it may seem you want to stretch that run of winning as far as we can take it and uh, with with Monday in mind now we've obviously got 24 hours to to shake it off and turn up on Monday for for a good game against Bracknell with with a positive mindset and hopefully come away with with four points over the weekend and then it'll look it'll look like a, obviously a very good point today you know if you if you looked at it from the start of the weekend yeah, obviously moving on to Bracknell, 5-0 uh, win against Swindon at home today for them. Uh, they look like they've got the ball rolling in the league, so it's going to be a tough one. Yeah, I think they've uh, they've certainly been scoring a few goals of recent, and yeah, th listen, th they're they're a team that they've been they've been around the block obviously last season in this in this division and, and had a great year. I uh, know they've had a few changes, but yeah, like you say, it seems like they're they're getting it together and. Yeah, hopefully we'll be able to put together some sort of attendance similar to what we've seen here today, uh, maybe sort of 800 plus and yeah, you hope that that works in our favour um, when we need our home crowd like, like Gosport sort of got from their, from their people today here. But yeah, lot to digest after today, a lot to digest. We, we, you know, through gut reaction, didn't want to go into it too much after the, after the whistle there, which is, uh, I think in hindsight is going to be a good a good thing. We'll let the let the dust settle, and we'll uh, we'll turn up Monday with hopefully some answers to some of the questions that have been posed uh, in the in the second half, especially. Well, it's game one done in this bank holiday weekend. A point shared in Gosport. We'll see you in 48 hours.